Here we go again. Gary Neville speaks out on Rasmus Hoyland's courage. He said that, If you think what United have done to players in the last 10 years, they have broken seasoned internationals who signed for big money. The lack of stability at the club in the last 12 months. All the changes, in particular at the top. They have basically got no center forwards other than him. He's got wide players who are out of form that weren't giving him the type of service he needed. He's got 16 goals from 35 starts, and most of all he proved, he stood up that kid. Most of all, during the tough times this season, he was the one I thought, what a personality he's got, that's all you need. I think he should have been supported more by having a more experienced striker alongside him. But they couldn't get one in, it was all left to him, and I think he has had a good first season, and he has got the potential to be something pretty good. Meanwhile. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has revealed he was informed that the club held talks with Thomas Tuchel over replacing him. The 54-year-old faced an uncertain future at Old Trafford after guiding United to their worst league position in over 30 years. However, Ten Hag salvaged the club's campaign after securing Europa League qualification thanks to their FA Cup win. Following the conclusion of the season, the former Ajax manager faced scrutiny over his suitability for the role in the dugout, with Mauricio Pochettino linked. While United liked Ipswich Town manager Kieran McKenna and met with Tuchel, but last week, it was confirmed that Ten Hag would remain in the United hot seat in the first full season since Ineos's part ownership was completed. On Sunday, he was a pundit in his native Holland for NOS and revealed that United Chiefs flew out to Ibiza to inform him they wanted him to stay. The club management came to me while I was on holiday in Ibiza, he said. They suddenly showed up on my doorstep and told me they wanted to continue with me. It was a turbulent season never a dull moment. Manchester United have told me that they spoke with Tuchel, but they eventually came to the conclusion that they already have the best manager. On the club's end of season review, the Dutchman added, as in any organization, it is wise to evaluate. Manchester United did that too. The new owner is new to football, he has taken his time. They have indeed told me that they have spoken to other managers. That is not even allowed in the Netherlands. Then, it is forbidden to talk to other coaches, if there is still a trainer. Ten Hag has entered the final 12 months of his contract at United, after arriving from the Eredivisie in 2022, and says there is still an agreement to reach between the two parties, but there is an alignment that they will continue working together. He said, We have had good discussions with each other. Various topics have been discussed. The conclusion is, that we will continue together, and that they will extend my contract. We still have to reach an agreement on that, on the other side. Manchester United are reportedly planning a bid for Matthijs de Ligt. The Red Devils have now been handed a price quote for the Bayern Munich defender. The Dutchman is familiar with Eric Ten Hag given the pair worked together when he was a teen at Ajax, even going so far as to be appointed captain. However, according to Sky Germany, the German giants have slapped a 42 millions of pounds price tag on the 24-year-old. The outlet says, Man United have begun internal discussions over a potential deal as he is seen as an alternative to Everton's Jared Branthwaite. Meanwhile, Manchester United are desperate for a new defender and are reportedly interested in sporting CP defender Goncalo Inacio. According to Portuguese outlet Abola, the club are sharpening their claws to trigger the centre-back's 50 millions of pounds release clause before the end of the month. Inazio joins the list of centre-backs on their hunt for alternatives to Jared Branthwaite. Elsewhere, since Manchester United confirmed last week Eric Ten Hag will remain at the club fans await to see if the Dutchman will be offered a new contract, and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has confirmed the Red Devils are close to confirming a new contract for the boss. He wrote in his Caught Offside column, A new contract extension for Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United is getting really close. Conversations between Man United and Ten Hag's agents are going well. There are still details to clarify, but there is hope to make it happen before the new season, which is really important for Man United's strategy. In other news, Lindelof set for transfer exit. Jose Mourinho wants to reunite with Victor Lindelof at Fenerbahce, reports suggest. Mourinho, 61, brought Lindelof, 29, to Old Trafford from Benfica in 2017 when the special one was in charge of United. According to Photomac, 
the Portuguese tactician now wants to bring his former centre-back to Feyner after he was announced as the Turkish giant's new manager earlier this month. Lindelof told Aftenbladet, Mourinho is, after all, one of the world's best coaches, and he is supposed to have a job at one of the biggest clubs. I miss him in football. He's a great coach and a great person, whom I owe a great deal. It was he who gave me the chance here, who brought me into everything. I have all the respect in the world for him, and appreciate everything he has said and done for me, from scolding to a hug. Even if I did not agree, at the time, he has very great charisma, you had great respect for him, he's won everything. When he says something, you listen. On the other side, Manchester United have reportedly reignited their interest in Javi Simons, after initially agreeing a £50 million of pounds transfer fee for him last summer. Simons is back at Paris Saint-Germain after spending the last season on loan in Germany with RB Leipzig. Now L'Equipe are claiming that United have contacted PSG over a potential transfer deal for him. However, they face a huge fight for Simons' signature from elsewhere. They claim that two Premier League rivals, Arsenal and Man City, and Bayern Munich also want the star. Again and again. Man United have received a 25 millions of pounds bid for Mason Greenwood, according to reports. The Mirror claims Valencia have tabled an offer for the forward, who is also being tracked by Atletico Madrid, Juventus, and Borussia Dortmund. Previously, it was said that Juventus were in the hot seat after submitting a proposal worth 40 millions of pounds. Meanwhile, Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho will have perhaps been the most eager squad member to discover the outcome of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's season review. Since the FA Cup final more than two weeks ago, Eric Ten Hag's future at the club had been up in the air, but that speculation came to a head on Tuesday night, as men's sport understands Sir Jim Ratcliffe, and Ineos concluded the Dutchman should remain in position. After finally making that decision, the focus has now turned to the ripple effects it may cause. One of the biggest issues which shall need resolving is around the future of Sancho. He infamously had a massive bust-up with Ten Hag last September, which led to him being exiled until his loan switch to Borussia Dortmund in January. That move has now ended, and the focus will be on what comes next. Some of men's sport writers asked to predict what they think is to come for Sancho at United. The first one called Tyrone Marshall says that, United planned to sell Sancho whether Ten Hag stayed or not, and regardless of the issue between the two, his performances on the pitch are all the evidence needed to suggest a departure has to happen. In three years at the club, he has never come close to hitting the height expected of him. There remains a sense that Sancho plays within himself more often than not for United. Just watch his thrilling performance for Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League semi-final first leg against Paris Saint-Germain and then try to recall him ever doing that in the red of United. Whether it is the pressure that comes with playing for United or just never settling in the environment, Sancho hasn't done enough. Ten Hag staying is the only very final confirmation that he has to go this summer. Eden Terzic leaving Dortmund isn't ideal. He is the coach who has often got the best out of the winger, but the Bundesliga still are still interested, and so are clubs in Italy. If United can get back half the 73 millions of pounds they spent, it will be a success. Another reporter added that, There is nothing new to say on Sancho. He must be sold this summer. His time at United has been a disaster, and it seems fitting he will leave in unsatisfactory circumstances. For all the talk of Sancho regaining his form on loan with Dortmund, he contributed just three goals and three assists, and the narrative around his redemption arc clearly went overboard after his excellent performance against PSG in the first leg of the Champions League semi-finals. That was the winger's standout display during his loan, and he otherwise failed to pull up any trees. United have a poor record of selling players, and receiving 40 millions of pounds for Sancho would be excellent. He's never looked suited to the demands of the Premier League, and United must cut their losses and move on. Sancho won't be remembered fondly at Old Trafford, 